Hello everybody and welcome back to X4, where this is probably going to be a little bit of a short episode, but first, we can go get that microchip module. Now, our construction has finished on the station, and we have like 7.7 .7 million credits, so we should have plenty to make this happen. We are going to head over to the representative's office. And we're just going to... I can never remember which of these doors. We're just going to head in over here. It's good to see you, friend. Yeah, good to see you too. I want to purchase the module for microchip production. Which I'm not immediately seeing here. That's Claytronics. Microchip. Here we go. So we'll select that. We'll still have about 2 million credits left. I did leave this running for quite a long time between the episodes, but I didn't actually really do anything. We need to go over here. I keep doing that. Okay. So we're going to head back to the Elite Vanguard. I mean, we don't need to go there to do what I'm going to do, but I prefer to just be sitting in the ship when doing management stuff. So we will hop on in Elite here. Vanguard. Excellent. And we'll pop open the map. And here is our current state. So our independent freighter is currently located up here. And I have a lot of trades queued up for this. <laughs> you can see we're still going to be making quite a bit of money. But uh, it's it's been a while. So the GE headquarters is currently over here. And let's take a quick look at that. I want to manage the funds here. And looks like this is up to its full amount. That is fine. We'll leave that money mostly there, but I want to plan the build here. And you can see once this loads in, there we go. You can see that our construction here has finished. We built an extra container storage over here and we built three st solid storage or rather two solid storage over here and expanded this out a little ways. But now we need to take a look at microchip production and where we can put this. It looks like it can only be put on top. So with that in mind, we are going to need to put in a cross section. Actually, we'd put in a base section here and then a cross section. Illegal wares on drone detected. And maybe a pair of cross sections Kind of like this. I just want to check to see what that would end up looking like. And the microchips... Yeah. It looks like... Hang on, if I can get this positioned a little bit more centrally. Yes. So we could hypothetically do something kind of like this. We're not going to build all of these microchip facilities immediately. And it looks like they overlap too much. So we can't put in the central one anyway. So we would remove this. This would, I think, be functional, though. Although, looking at this, I would rather it be moved over here if possible. But we're only going to be doing one of these for right now. So it would look something like this for now. Now, another thing that we could, in theory, construct over here is we could put in a pier. And we could put in the pier over here. Or we could put in the pier, perhaps, over here. Can we rotate this? Hmm. I would like to rotate this guy. It does not appear to be an option. Okay, well maybe we should put the pier in over here. Not up top like that, but rather right there. Okay. And it would go... Hmm. 
It doesn't seem to want to go there. Interesting. Perhaps... Because... Oh, I see. It needs to have all three of these lines clear. I'm pretty sure it does. I mean, if we... If I could figure out how to rotate it... That would help. <laughs> um, let's see here. Reset the top view. Undo... Redo. It's not helpful. Okay. Because this is just a basic dock here. But this 3 dock T could, in theory, just go here. Apparently. Well, now it's actually sticking around over this way. But yeah, now when I do that, it disappears. Okay, fair enough. Well, we don't need the pier right now. That is something that we can work on later on. How much is this going to cost to build this? 2.7 million credits. Okay. So for right now, this is all we'd be doing. I would really like to figure out a way to put the pier out over this way like maybe we would put the storage out here so this would get moved to something like over here I would love to figure out how to rotate these hmm I mean we would just cancel these Apparently, we don't seem to be able to do. Okay, so I'm going to discard those changes for the moment. We've learned a few interesting things about how to handle this. So, the main thing that we have learned is that we may want microchip production somewhere else. That said, what I want to do is I want to put in a base module here and then I want to put in a cross module here followed by across here and across here there we go and now we put in that production module of a microchip factory right there and then another one would go over here would be the idea but for right now that is not what we're going to be doing. So we would remove this one. We will simply confirm the module changes here for right now. Excellent. So this is going to cost quite a lot. We can see if there's a builder available. There is not one right now. That's okay. So we will hop into the plan build. Let's see, we are going to need what exactly? Claytronics, energy cells, and hull parts. Well, we have some claytronics on the way in. That's fine. We are just going to put in as much money right now as we can. Just like that. And that should get these in eventually. Actually, I'm going to pull this back a little bit so that we have a little bit of money to work with. But we'll just do that for the time being. And yeah, you can see our Claytronics are on their way in. Or some of them are, anyway. Which is ideal. So we still have about 1.6 million incoming from trades. And I want to check in on the independent freighter here and see how it's doing. It's currently empty. It's flying to purchase, which is fine. Still has a lot of microchip trades queued up. But we'll, we'll recover that money pretty easily. I still want to be checking to see if there's a builder. We do see a busy construction ves vessel, but uh, this should... We should find another construction vessel pretty soon. This is the busy one right here. 
Here's one. Okay. So we've got a construction vessel hired up. Fantastic. So this will take a few minutes to get all of this put in. Of course, our claytronics are on their way in, or some of them are, anyway. I do want to check the current station finances over here. So let's check the manage funds. We'll accept this estimate. And in fact, we're just going to pull some money out of the station account. We'll leave them a little bit. We'll do something like that. And we will accept the estimate for station construction. Fantastic. So that leaves us about 654,000 credits left over. And with that, we see that there are currently 610 Claytronics on their way in out of the 811 that we need. There are 445 hull parts out of the, the 2,968 that we need. And there are 1,223 out of the 1,622 energy cells that we need. Excellent. So all of this will come in slowly over time. We did just have a trade of some type go through. There's probably something in the GE headquarters. Let's check. Yeah, it was a small trade in the GE headquarters. That's fine. Okay, so let's check the logical overview here. Once this is finished building, you can see that our energy cells are going to be going into microchips and silicon wafers, and then our silicon wafers are going into the microchips. And then here, we're just going to have microchips being made because of our vertical integration, essentially for free, because we don't seem to have ongoing costs for our existing ships and captains, which is a little strange, if I'm honest. I would have expected that there is an ongoing cost for that, but the only cost that we seem to have is the risk that we're taking of getting attacked by pirates. So that's fine. Our silicon wafers are not going to deplete for 29 minutes. So we have plenty of silicon wafers, and according to what I was reading, our silicon wafer production is going to be able to feed two microchip factories, and once we get our workforce online, it'll be able to feed three. So we're going to have an extreme amount of microchips being produced. And then we're going to need to decide what exactly we want to turn the microchips into, right? So I'm actually going to tab out here really quickly and do a quick Google search for X4 microchips. And we'll pull up this wiki here. Microchips are used to produce what things? Many production chains, namely drones, laser towers, turrets, engines, steering thrusters, satellites, fixed weapon, fixed weapons, and station modules. So What's the highest threat here? Er, threat. What, what is happening out here? I didn't know that these opened. Interesting. And I don't know why I said threat when I meant to say demand. I don't know what the highest demand of those are, so we should probably figure that out. So, let's see here. Drones. We don't know of anybody who wants drones. Laser towers. Similar. Turrets. That's not how you spell. Turrets. Okay, we don't know of anybody who wants turrets. Engines? Nope. Steering thrusters. Nope. Satellites? Nope. Fixed. Hang on. <laughs> there we go. Fixed weapons. None of these things appear to be actual trade goods. But this also is turned into turret components, drone components, antimatter converters, advanced electronics, and claytronics. And those things are actual trade goods. So turret components. Let's see. Demand. The top demand there is 3568. Drone components. 
not very in demand at that price. Antimatter. Actually, hang on. I think we need to set up a filter here where we only see large volume. There we go. Let's try this again. Turret components. 3568. Okay. Drone components. And in fact, we may as well leave these open, right? Turret components. That's not how you spell. <laughs> there we go. Turret components, drone components, antimatter converters. Advanced electronics and claytronics. Oh, wonderful. The uh, the cat appears to be vomiting. Hang on a moment. Identifying criminal vessels. Well, that's wonderful. Okay, well, I guess I will deal with that in just a moment. We need to figure out which of these is the highest. Oh, she's not done. Looks like antimatter converters, but advanced electronics have a much better price. Okay, I'm going to have to put a cut in here, I think, and go deal with that. I knew that this was going to be a bit of a shorter episode, so it is what it is. <laughs> Next episode, we will have our micro trip production online, and I am going to go clean up cat vomit. That's going to be exciting. Until then, though, next time, not the cat vomit. Until next time, you can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>